Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. I'm actually in Spain right now. I thought I would do another psychology video because that is what is most liked on this channel in a way. Psychology, philosophy, you know, that. So I've actually started to read a book by Sigmund Freud, who is the creator, we could say, of the psychoanalytic perspective in psychology. And yeah, however, I haven't come to a part where he said, I think, something about a memory. And we have a hard time re remembering names, so it's in the very beginning. I am sorry for the start, but. So I've talked about the iceberg theory a little bit shortly. <laughs> and this is kind of connected because, you know, you. It's a part of his iceberg theory, some people say because it's about your mental, mentally, like the mind and so on. It's about why we do certain things, more like, and how we should be, in a way. So, throughout psychology there are, there are perspectives saying the same thing, however, with different names and explaining the same thing, but I think that Freud was He's called the father of psychology, so he was first, which is why I'm talking about Freud. Because in cognitive psychology, I think they have similar, I think it was in cognitive, pretty sure. They have um, control focus, maybe it's called. External and internal control focus, perhaps. I'm just translating it right off from my mind because I've learned it in Swedish, so. But. So it's kind of the same, like, perception. Perception is, yeah, it's in the cognitive perception. We have selective perception of that, so it's more about the mind, but in a different way than psychoanalytic. I would say the psycho psychoanalytic perspective is in a way more shallow. It doesn't go that deeply into it as cognitive does. However, psychoanalytic is very broad in a way, it goes over more things than just our thinking and all that in a way as cognitive psychology does. So we have, I had to google this because it's really different from this which actually. So we have the id, the ego, the superego. And luckily it goes like that. So the id, like it's spelled the ID, so it, but it's pronounced it because I googled. Apparently, if I'm saying anything wrong and someone knows it, but at least I told you how it's spelled. So, but that is kind of our lust. We do things that might be bad for us. Like we do things. We just it's an impulse. We're doing things by the impulse. We do things because we feel like it in the moment. That's when we follow the id. When we do not think in a way, we just act. And when we act, it can lead to consequences of the future, but we do not think about the future really. We don't really think, we just act in a way. And then we have the ego. You are the ego, that's you. So for me, I. For me, I'm the ego. For you, you are the ego. It's so like that is you. And you can be pulled by it, and you can be pulled by the super ego. And that you can see which one you are if you look on how do you act mostly in life. And you can have both. And it might be better if you have both than just one, because it's, you should be harmonizing it and be. A little bit of both because it can be negative if you just start on an impulse and it can be negative if you only ever think about the future because that leads to you not living in the present so then we have the super ego the super ego is when you just think about the future in a way you think always think ahead you always think okay about my future you know it's always planning Thinking about the future, not living in right now. If you're, 
extremely central pie super ego of course and the same with the id because that is what defines it and you can be both a mix and you know you can have a bit of both and you should see so you have a kind of 50 50. I am aware that I am more of my super ego but in some situations I can actually be more of the it I would say if I'm interested in someone I would say I'm more of the it than super ego as an example of more life choices I'm always the super ego I do not like it's when you plan you think you don't really think you live in now you live in the future but you aren't in the future so it's always you know moving ahead and all that so this is really shortly and on it because i just wanted the shorts so i can record maybe something else now before because i have time so that's just extremely shortly on this and if i don't want to okay because i'm in spain i'm doing vlog i'm vlogging and that's coming out on the channel that in the description on my last video so you can subscribe on that channel if you want to see my vlogs this is just very very i'm really saying it, it's very shortly on this because you can really like dive deeper on this subject because this is extremely like it's shortened down i turn it down because for it to be easier for you to maybe understand and just try to explain it a good way so that's just very shortly on this fury so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye